I wanted to start a church for Gabe and the Lord of the Fab and the Steam Sales. I thought all was good and good to come. That's when I first encountered the first son of Gaben. Are you here for the word of the Gaben? What, what? Oh boy. Are you here for the word of the Gaben? Gaben. Uh, yeah. Lord Gaben. I tried to help the young man, Can for he looked me? pretty needy, confused. More so, I was confused. But I guess that's how things go in the church um, of Gaben. I set off this young man with my own machete, thinking it would help him in his journey to spread the word of Gaben. That's when I encountered the second son of Gaben. The second son was quite different. He might have been a mute for all I know, but all is well in the church of Gaben. But all was well ended. The sons of Gaben decided to fight. Don't ask me why. We were in a corrupted world where you can just get shot for picking berries or saying hello. Okay. I'm sorry, mother. A couple moments later, the third son of Gaben appeared. This one seemed more aware of what the church purpose was. Church of Gaben. It also seemed he was more interested in my gender than the Lord Gaben. This boy of Gaben tried to trick me, as it seemed, but the nun of Gaben is a lot more smarter than she seems. I tried to lead the pack away from the corrupt son of Gaben. I did not want the rest to be tainted by the other's way. I was busy leading away the stray. I came back to witness. All went to shit, and more sons came. I tried to tell them the purpose of why we are gathered, but it's like talking to a brick wall. Things became more awkward as the third son of Gaben, the stray corrupt weird one, began to confess his undying creepy love toward the nun of Gaben. I tried nicely to convince this young and that it's time to go. I decided to end my service and try to get away from this thing. At this point, I tried to save myself for the sole purpose of spreading Gaben's word. The man took more of my clothes and surprisingly, more worshippers came. And that happened. That was the story of how no place is safe in H1Z1, not even the Church of Gaben. People don't change, even in places like the Church of Gaben.